This week, the Hajj through digital art, 3D glasses and 3D houses, and how about a glass of wine made with AI? Hey, welcome to Click. Hope you've had a good week. Lara, how are you doing? I'm good. Just trying to plan for another summer of the unknown. <laughs> <laughs> yep, another one of those is on its way, isn't it? Summer is going to be different for everyone once again this year. And that includes the many Muslims who would normally be about to undertake Hajj. Hajj is the pilgrimage that's made by around two and a half million Muslims every year from all across the globe to Mecca, Saudi Arabia. And this year it's happening in July. It's one of the most important acts of faith that a Muslim can undertake, and it's said to amaze those who do. But of course, in the last couple of years, the coronavirus has led the Saudi authorities to severely limit the number of people who are allowed to visit. However, another way to experience Hajj, retelling its story using the objects and works of art associated with this sacred journey, is about to become available to everyone and Omar Metab has been taking a look. The first part of my learning journey was to visit the v &A Museum in London. And just being here in one of the special exhibitions, as well as the Islamic art galleries, something started to stir inside of me, almost a connection to the ancient past. The pilgrimage is to Mecca, the birthplace of Islam, but many also visit Medina, the second holiest city for Muslims. Now, I've not personally been on Hajj. It's supposed to happen at least once in every Muslim's lifetime, but only after you're settled and haven't got any debts or obligations. And that's not me at the moment, so I'm not going to be there anytime soon. However, being here and seeing these artworks, especially from Mecca and Medina, really makes me, makes me want to learn more about my religion and the culture that surrounds it. This is special. So the next leg in my journey to learn more has taken me to a large space in South London where a dozen pieces of art relating to Hajj are being digitized. They're from the Khalili collections, which includes what's considered to be the largest and most significant group of objects relating to the cultural history of Hajj. And its founder is Sir David Khalili. I didn't start collecting Islamic art because it was Islamic, because it was the most diverse group of art I've ever seen. Every piece had a message. But the story of Hajj has never been told through the object that was produced culturally to honor the place. As you, I'm not allowed to go to Mecca Medina, but through the experience of collecting objects for the last 50 years of my life, I feel like I'm there anyhow. I virtually feel the soul of the artist who have produced this object through their beliefs. Now, an obvious way to share art is through digitization, but for it to really work and not just be two-dimensional, the art needs to live and breathe. Every brushstroke of a painting or every thread of a textile. You really need to bring out what's not visible to the naked eye. Take this silk, for example, that's used to cover shrines in the Holy Mosque in Mecca, finely embroidered in both silver and gold covered wire. The amount of time, uh, effort, and uh, intricacy that's gone into many of these works is a matter of spiritual importance. It's not just art for art's sake, but this is produced for a very particular sacred, ritualistic and spiritual purpose. That's where the Google Art Camera, which is capturing the minutia of detail, comes in. Our camera is a custom-built uh, camera um, built to capture uh, images of paintings and artworks in super high resolution. Uh, it generates uh, what is called a gigapixel, which is an image of over 1 billion pixels. 
So how does it compare to other cameras? Well, I've got my phone here. So let's take a picture of it with this. And as you can see here, it looks great. But as soon as you start zooming in, it gets quite pixelated and messy. And the same goes for my personal camera with a 50 millimeter lens. Again, no real detail of the gold we know is sitting underneath the silver. The camera is equipped with a laser and a sonar and using high frequency sounds, uh, pretty much like a bat, um, is able to measure the distance between the camera and the artwork to make sure that the focus is right. And after about 45 minutes, every bit is digitized and a program stitches it together to generate the full image. An image captured with our camera can unlock information uh, around that artwork, but also unlock the emotional um, stories around the certain artworks and generate, in a way, kind of an augmented experience of uh, the viewing of an artwork. And weeks later, I'm at the final part of my personal journey. All the captures telling the story of Hajj from the Khalili collection are there on one platform using Sphere technology. So it puts everything into this big sphere here, creating a 3D-like environment, combining scale with detail. But it's also quite easy to just drag around and uh, zoom into something that interests you. This shirt actually is something that we looked at in real, in real life, wow. A lot of this I didn't actually notice when I saw it up close. The fading and the writing and then the detail, the patterns, it's a, it's a privilege. So this was a painting that we saw, a more modern one. Even with this, zoom, zooming right in. Just the finer details of the painting, the shadows and the hats. And it works quite similar to Google Earth in that way, in that you can zoom in and see incredible detail of a specific location, but in this case, of art. Some of these pieces are being shown for the first time. But even in a museum, you can only view it from a distance or when the artwork is inside glass boxes. See, barely anyone has the privilege to see these pieces in real life, let alone this up close. Remember the silk cloth used in the Holy Mosque? Here it is, with hints of gold underneath the silver, not really visible to the naked eye. It's, it's as if the tech is helping me to reach something beyond the art. I can see what Sir David meant, that it's another side to it. Going on Hajj is one thing, but completing that spiritual, that cultural side of it, using this art that's entrenched in the Hajj's history is, is something special.